mission is to ensure that you become a homeowner, but not just a homeowner, but a homeowner that can acquire assets that you can pass on to your family. So in a traditional lender, um, you go, you get qualified, and do it based on your income. NAPA qualifies you based on what you can afford. You know the reason why? So say you go buy a home, right? Um, and then you can't afford it for whatever reason because they may be overqualified. What's gonna happen all those years that you are paying your mortgage, when it's time that you can't pay, guess what? They're gonna put you out. They're gonna not only take the money you put in, they're gonna sell it to somebody else and collect their money too because they're not committed to your wealth building and your legacy. So NACA is way different from any other program. As you get informed and you study, you'll learn that they qualify you on a monthly payment. You're probably like, what? Normally it's 350, 400. They qualify you based on what you afford because they want you to acquire an asset you can pass on. Do you know what our foreclosure rate is currently? Zero. The reason why is because we qualify you on a home you can't afford. So when you're going through the process, I know you've probably heard if you know anybody that's in a program and they'll say, my mortgage counsel asked me for these bank statements 50 times. Who's heard that? Anybody? Over and over again. You can raise your hand, it's okay. The reason why is because they want to confirm, verify, and ensure that you can afford a home. It's homes being sold every single day but affordable homes that people won't get kicked out of because they're overqualified doesn't happen every day. So everybody in here is in a positive position because you're connected to an organization that doesn't just want your money, they want to build wealth. We're a home ownership advocacy organization. So I'm a real estate agent, that sounds all great, but I chose NACA because they're committed to the mission. I first heard about NACA, believe it or not, over 15 years ago, and I was sitting here just like you guys. I wanted a house. I was like, okay, let me go find out about this place um, that is absorbing all these closing calls and, and give me a home. I didn't buy a home through NACA, but the universe said I have a different mission for you, and I, and I ended up being an agent with NACA. So I'm a regular, regular real estate agent, but I work directly with NACA because our mission is a little bit different. So I have all the services to assist you with the home, but I'm committed to the mission of ensuring that you're in a home that you can qualify for. So what makes a NACA agent different? We do this every single day. So even though you may get pre-qualified by your lender, it's different from NACA. So they ensure, again, the mission is that you become a homeowner. So they have mortgage counselors, housing counselors, and agents in place that know the NACA mortgage program and make you a priority to assist you in the NACA program. By law, and I'll tell you guys, as home buyers, Maryland, DC, Virginia, any state, you have the choice to choose your agent. Never feel obligated that you have to use a NACA agent, but just know that NACA has put people like me and my colleagues in place to assist you and help you through this program. Your mortgage counselors, we see them when we're in the office, we can Skype them if we're having some concerns about your membership. So we're here to assist you, but know that you have the choice. When it comes to choosing a real estate agent, it's just like any other relationship, okay? I encourage you to date your agent, okay? Don't put a ring on it or sign anything until you know they're working for you. Here are some things you can do when choosing your agent. As a NACA member, how many NACA mortgages have you closed? That's very, very important. The NACA mortgage is different. How many real estate transactions have you closed? Do you work in my area? Are you a full-time agent or do you do this just for fun? Ask your questions. Chemistry is important. I may not be the right agent for you. Someone else may be. But make sure you're asking qualifying questions so you can get in a home. That's, that's the goal at the end of the day, okay? So we're in place on our real estate department. You can contact the DC office, Baltimore office, whatever office you're in and see what agents are available, but we are here to assist you. Again, as a NACA member, you are our priority. We do NACA every single day, we know the program, we know how to use the same mortgage calculator that your mortgage counselor used, but we're here to assist you, so use the resources in place. Again, there are professionals here, DJ, um, Gladys, all of your professionals are working for you, but as you heard, the testimonials is highly dependent on you. So if you want to be successful in this program, I encourage you to stay organized, stay committed. Anything that 
is needed for your process, get on top of it. As a real estate agent, it's not my job to find your house, it's my job to get you your house. So even though you're in the beginning of your process, know where you wanna live, go in the neighborhoods. What's the best day to um, go through a neighborhood to see what it's like? What do you think? Friday night. If anything is going down, it's going down Friday night. So pick your location, pick your neighborhood, see how far it is from your job, your daycare, your lifestyle. So do your due diligence. Again, your real estate agent is here to get you your home, but you have to do your due diligence and know where you want to live. Organization, commitment, and just knowing what you want is very, very important. When I work with my clients, I have them create a list. You have your negotiables and your non-negotiables. And you'll hear me equate a lot of things to uh, relationship because I consider myself experienced. But you should know what you want. Have your list of things that you absolutely need. And then have the things that you're willing to compromise on. Typically, there's no perfect house. But as your professional, my job is to get you as close to it as possible. But if you don't know what you want, I can't assist you with that. So I encourage you guys to know what you want. Be committed and work with your professionals. Everybody in the NACA program, like, like they said, is committed to your success. So use your resources. I'm an agent. We have about six other agents in our Washington, D.C. office to assist you. So again, reach out to our real estate department to get connected as soon as possible. Um, we have in-house days. Almost every day, there's an agent there to assist you. If you come into the office for maybe your appointment, we're available to answer questions, assist you with documents for your qualification. If you want to reach out to me personally, again, Andrea Washington, you can call our local office. I've also put together an excellent video to help you understand your qualification. How many people have their phones in their hands? All right, text the word NACA. How do you spell NACA? N-A-C-A, text the word NACA to the number 31996, and you'll get a great, probably 14 minute video to help you understand your qualifications. It'll also get you my information if you wanna connect with me. Again, congratulations, you guys don't know. Commitment is the first step to your home ownership. You took a step today that is different from everybody else that's landing in bed because you're committed to building wealth for your family. So congratulations in advance. I hope to see you guys in the office closing on your new home. Who's ready to be a homeowner? You're already on your way. Thank you guys, okay? Have a great day.